Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Past Caesar's Good. It's absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us today. We're going to be doing the last of the loot boxes on Marvel Heroes Omega. This game is being shut down and ending on the 31st of December. But until then, they've actually reduced the cost of absolutely everything to one. One. One of everything. And we have not a lot more than one, if you notice at the top. I have a lot more than one left. So I thought, right, maybe go in here. Go through and see what we've actually got left to get out of the loot boxes and see if we actually be worthwhile running through the boxes to get them. So the Marvel Hero loot boxes, take a look and see what's in the inside. The Black Cat, all new Marvel now. Punisher Omega Effect. Captain America, the Captain. Captain America Classic. Ant-Man Movie. Iceman. A lot of these characters... I actually already have a majority of their costumes, but a lot of these I don't have. Things like the Nightcrawler House of M, uh, Venom Anti-Venom, the uh, Cyclops Marvel Now. There's actually a fair amount of costumes for me to still pick up from these. Although, there are ones that are popping up, like Spider-Man, Spider-Man, definitely already have that. I went and purchased that before the prices went down. Devil the Kid, I just got whenever you, if you watch the Spooky Loot Boxes one. I have Iron Spider, I have... Oh, do I actually have Sam Alexander, actually? But um, yeah, so we've got one enhanced costume to find. The only one we want is the Nova Sam Alexander. Everything else is mid-range, mid-tier, and low-tier. So we're more likely to get them. So let's see if we can get them within, well, let's say, 25 boxes? Eh, it's just for the fact that I don't have to buy any more than those. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Ding! Right. Let's rock and roll. Four Marvelous Essence, Lightweight Armor Plate, 10 Relics of Asgard, 25 Marvelous Essence, a Captain Marvel Cheer, and a Duplicate Costume Bonus Essence of Fiji. Which means we literally got one of the highest tier costumes on the first box. Grit. Two Attorney Splinters, Four Marvelous Essence, Currency Boost, Matrix of Unbinding. A Duplicate Costume Bonus Essence, or a costume I already have, and an Ultimate Power Upgrade. Four Marvelous Essence, an Iron Man Spray Paint, an Experience Boost, 10 Cosmic Fragments, a Combination Boost, and an Overflowing Credit Chest. Ding! Four Marvel's Essence of Futuristic Alloy, Argonic Particles, 10 Legendary Marks, 2 Experience Boosts, and 50 Relics of Atlantis. Four Marvel's Essence High Tech Fabric, a Currency Boost, 10 Unstable Molecules, 10 Unscoiled Fragments, and an Ultimate Power Upgrade. 10 Marvel's Essence, 4 Marvel's Essence Futuristic Alloy, 20 Relics of Asgard, 2 Experience Boosts, and an Ultimate Power Upgrade. Four Marvel's Essence, a shitty ass credit chest. A 10 Relics of Xander, 20 Relics of Xander, an Ultimate Power Upgrade, and an Ultimate Power Upgrade. Seeing some duplicates on here. Is the break in the matrix? Deja vu. Two attorney splinters, four marvelous essence, a large loaded credit chest, 20 relics of Asgard, 50 marvelous essence, and Black Cat, all Marvel, all new Marvel now. I like the design of the new Black Cat costume. I, I, it's see, very simplified down. Um, it looks like and it feels like it was actually done by the same people who did the Age of Apocalypse Jean Grey, as in like it feels like the design is quite flat. But, at the same time, it's not too bad. After losing all our stolen loot to the law and Spider-Man, the Black Cat swore vengeance against the wall crawler from inside her prison cell. No longer holding back, her new ruthless ambition aims to propel her up into the big leagues. Oh, shit. So, that's right. I remember Black Cat actually turned on Spider-Man. She's, like, not a friend of Spider-Man anymore. She's like, fuck you for putting me back in jail. Fuck you for taking my shit. So, uh, yeah. Black Cat is actually on the bad side again. Fair play. Four Marvel's Essence, a shitty-ass credit chest, 10 Relics of Atlantis, 10 Legendary Marks, Matrix of Unbinding, an Ultimate Power Upgrade. Four Marvel's Essence, a shitty-ass credit chest, <laughs> Experience Boost, 10 Eternity Splinters, 10 Legendary Marks, and a Duplicate Costume Bonus Essence chest of 50. Four Marvel's Essence, a shitty-ass credit chest, Astral Essence, a large character experience token, uh, 10 Cosmic Fragments, and the Cyclops Marvel Now costume. Yes, the Marvel Now costume where Cyclops, literally for the first time, maybe in my head, looked like a Cyclops. That that X cross across the forehead, across the head, as part of his mask. Shit, I really like this costume design, and it does kind of reflect the darker tone that Scott Summers actually is now. He is a villain. He's been flat out a villain for a while, and very reminiscent of the Havoc costume from back in the eighties as well. So it's kind of like the brothers' costumes, kind of like finally matched in a way. Nineties Cyclops will always be the one that I like because of uh, video games and because of the TV show, but this one is actually probably the best recognizable version of the character that I could enjoy now, and uh, the modern X-Men, yeah, it works for him. Once freed from the control of Dark Phoenix, Cyclops was imprisoned for his crimes against the world, but Cyclops would cut his de would cut his debt to society short as the world descended back into mutant persecution. 
donning an X on his fist to symbolize the mutant revolution and professor he lost. Yep, that made sense. Four Marvel Assassins, a small character experience, token for Moon Knight, experience boost, ten unstable molecules, ten unstable molecules, and five ultimate power upgrades. Four Marvel Assassins, lightweight armor plate, loaded credit chest, shield supply boost, ten, duplicate costume, building assassins of 15 and 50 legendary marks. Four Marvel Assassins, credit chest, astral essence, 15 duplicate costume, bonus essence, and shield supply boost, and 50 relic of the Gibrahim. We are not getting what we want here. I'm not happy with this. Four Marvelous Essence, three Energized Particles, ten Relics of Thunder, ten Legendary Marks, ten Cosmic Fragments, and an Ultimate Power Upgrade. Four Marvelous Essence, Minor Experience Boost, current, Full Experience Boost, ten Cosmic Fragments, Kitty Pride Cheer, and an Ultimate Power Upgrade. Notice the fact I'm saying Ultimate Power Upgrade. Quite a lot. Four Marvelous Essence, a shitty ass credit chest again. Loaded credit chest, twenty five Marvelous Essence, Sailed Supply Boost, and fifty Legendary Marks. By Eternity Splinters, 4 Marvel Assassins, Ionic Particle, 25 Marvel Assassins, Large Character Experience Token for Deadpool, and 2 Shield Supply Boosts. 4 Marvel Assassins, Spider-Man Spray Paint, Loaded Credit Chest, 10 for Cosmic Fragment, 10 Cosmic Fragment, Black Panther Show Off. By Eternity Splinters, 5 Legendary Marks, 4 Marvel Assassins, 10 Legendary Marks, and an Overflowing Credit Chest, ding! And 2 Shield Supply Boosts. Uh, 4 Marvel Assassins, Energized Particles, Currency Boost, Ch Daredevil Cheer, 10 of those, Zanzar, and Overflowing Credit Chest, ding! This is not cool. We're doing the last four, and I have only got two of the costumes I was actually interested in. Four Marvel Assassins, minus small character experience, token experience boost, 20 relics of Kuraconda, Matrix of Unbinding, and an overall ultimate power upgrade. Come on, we got one. We have seen one of the big costumes, and we got it at the very beginning. Four Marvel Assassins, a lightweight armor plate, 10 relics of Xander, combination boost, Shara, Scarlet Witch, cheer, and 50 relics of Asgard. Four Marvel Assassins, a credit chest, experience boost, Matrix of Unbinding, Matrix of Unbinding. <laughs> And two shield supply boosts. Is this our last one? Yes, it is our last one. War Marvel's Essence, a small character experience token for Black Widow, a loaded credit chest, and a duplicate costume bonus essence of 15, a random hero ultimate gift, and an overflowing credit chest. Ding! That was not that impressive. So, yeah, obviously we missed out on a few costumes that were there. Captain America the Captain, Captain America Classic, Ant-Man Movie, Iceman All-New X-Men, Hulk Planet Hulk, Black Widow Avengers, um... So I think I'm probably out of those, I think it's one, two, three costumes I was missing out. Yeah, out of all. All the rest of the ones I actually already have. So let's go in and actually buy those costumes. And costumes it is. So Ant-Man. Oh, I already have all the Ant-Man ones. Never mind. Uh, Black Hat, we now have all those. Black Widow. Civil War, that was the one that we... No, it was Avengers that was missing? Yeah, that's great. We're buying this one anyway. Ding, bought. And now we're going into Captain America. Yeah, it was the Civil War. No, no, what? The Captain? Captain? We already have the Captain. Oh, right, we already had all those. Eh, never mind. I was completely wrong. Modern Soldier. Ding. Bot. Civil War movie. Ding. Bot. Ah, feels good to actually just get all these out of the way. And now for Deadpool. This is one that never actually, I don't think, ever got into a crit, as far as I know. Deadpool with Zen blindfolded. I don't think I ever saw this one. Yes. Rawr. As you say, Hulk. And Hawkeye. Don't know why I never bought Hawkeye. I liked Hawkeye. I had all the essence for it. I don't know why I never bought him. Wait, am I buying, buying them with essence or am I buying them with G's? I'm buying them with G's. Why am I not buying these with essence? Eh, fine then. I literally nothing uses essence anymore. And all new X-Men jacket list. There we go. Ding. I do like the all new X-Men costume. It's kind of nice. I like the design. But uh, yeah, 90s X-Men got to be the one. Although, admittedly, probably have her death most of the time now because of the bonus skill that she gets with that. Uh, Civil War movie and Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker I never had, but hey, let's buy it. Didn't need it, but we got it. Didn't need it, but we got it. And who we still have to actually get costumes for? Nightcrawler. This. This is the ones I wanted. I, Night X-Force, I don't think I ever actually made it into a crate, but it's nice to have it here. And the House of M1, which is the one that I was kind of hoping to get in that Marvel Heroes crate. Looks pretty badass. I actually love the design. They did a really... Whoever did the Nightcrawler costumes did a really good job. He did a, a moderately impressive job with the Age of Apocalypse ones. But, uh, yeah, this... Uh, the House of M one. It's a, it's a nice touch. So, uh, bam. Hey, what? Yeah, Marvel Heroes is a box. That's what he was in. <laughs> now it's showing the offer. So, uh, where we got? Where we got any left? Oh, yes. That's right. We had Sam Alexander, which we were going to be getting in that box. But, no. Ding. Let's have it instead. She-Hulk, 
Not actually listed in any of the costume boxes to get, but I like it. I like it. Single green female in jeans. Star Lord, Guardians of the Galaxy, with the um, the don't face. He just had. It's a don't face. It's just not a great face. <laughs> oh, Age of Ultron movie. He never gonna get used. I'm always using Jane Foster. Venom, Toxin. Why, hello there, Toxin. You're now part of the party. And that is every costume in the game purchased now and in use. We will be doing another video in future very, very soon where we'll be going through all of the costumes, just kind of like to show them off and let people get us a little bit of a, a fashion parade and maybe a little bit of a lore history about each character and each costume as far as I know it. Because some of it I know, some of it I don't, some of it is actually going to be a complete another surprise to me, and uh, some of it I may have completely wrong. So make sure to actually check that one out so you can correct me in the comments. If you guys actually want to talk any more about Marvel Heroes Omega, make sure to head out the Reddit page on uh, reddit.com forward slash r forward slash Marvel Heroes, or because all those guys are a lot more informed than I am. But check out Tony Bing's channel um, if you want to actually get some tips on how to play this game to the best of your ability before the game shuts down at the 31st of December. And if you want to come back here for anything else, please feel free to do so because I will not be playing Marvel Heroes Omega again. Thank you very much for joining us, and I will see all you do. Oh, wait, actually, hang on. You're watching this on YouTube. There's a button up there I'd really appreciate you to hit. And there'll be a box right here. It'll be a playlist of all the stuff that's actually been done for Marvel Heroes on this channel at some point. Over there will be the most recent video on the channel. And right here will be a video just for you. Based on the user analytics and the things you do on YouTube and all the things you search for in the past, it will pick a video that I have already created that you will actually enjoy and it'll be written right there. So I highly recommend you check that one, click it, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.